guide in this video. Uh, just yesterday I posted a RSS component for Reddit and this is actually using the JavaScript object notation JSON. And the JSON file has a lot more information in it than what the XML did for the RSS. So I created another component, it's for Reddit. And as you can see here, we got quite a bit more information. Uh, we have the upvotes over here. We have how many comments that are on a particular post. We still have the thumbnails and then I even added some of the flare things in there and I do want to show you a few things you may have to adjust here. But if you didn't watch that video, one thing to take note of is that you can click on any of these images or the non-images. For example here, creating a Google Home widget, tapping on that image, it should open up that particular post and it does. So this component is called Reddit JSON. Again, it's slightly different than the RSS component I posted yesterday, but over in global, some of the globals are different, but go back and watch that video because I did talk about, you know, getting the URL as well as the actual images um, as you cycle through your various subreddits. I covered all of this in the video yesterday, and as you can see here, um, I'm over on Tasker now. It will take a minute for these to load because I think there's like 15 of them up here. And I think in the Cinema 4D, let me uh, save this and load it up real quick. So with the Cinema 4D, if we look down here at like uh, this flare here, it looks like we're a little short with the rectangle and I'm basing that, and you can see it right here, the W and this uh, backslash here, I'm basing that off the length of uh, that particular flare. Well, we can adjust those inside of the globals. The two places that you can adjust the flare are going to be the author flare and the link flare, and there are two different ones. The link flare, if I start pressing this, you can see that that rectangle gets crazy long, but uh, you can just fine tune it a little bit. Maybe if I bump it up to nine, um, you can see that it does, uh, it's too much now, but you can go in there and mess around with that if you want to. So that's adjusting the author flare, and actually if I come into the text global, this is where I'm actually using it. Uh, that number global to take the length of the author flare text and I'm multiplying it by the adjust author flare number global. Now just sitting here thinking off the top of my head, if I come back here and I say plus GV adjust author flare, that's probably, uh, that may yield some good results. Let's see what happens. Let me check that. So uh, yeah, that actually works pretty good. If I adjust author flare, you know, that's way too long. But if I bump it down to eight, it looks like we don't have any overhang here or here. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I did change the author flare. I'm actually multiplying by and then I'm adding a little bit more to it. But technically I'm multiplying by the same number. Then I'm turning right back around and adding a little bit, whatever that number may be. Feel free to do your own math in there to get the appropriate rectangle for the flare. Now the other flare, the adjust link flare, if I come over here to KOWP, this is the link flare and this is the author flare. So I do have two different ones. Uh, this cut title down here, so if I start lowering this down, the titles will be cut. And as you can see, uh, it's gonna do a, a little ellipse or those three dots at the end of it if it's too long. So bumping that on back up to maybe 35 or whatever you want. You can still adjust the sizes. You can do some flare padding. So put that wherever you like. The flare color, uh, the switches, and again, I did cover the images and adding URLs in the other video. It works very similar except for if I go in here and edit the URL now, instead of it being a .rss, you're gonna have a .json. So right here, for example, at the end of the URL, .json versus .rss from yesterday. And yeah, there you have it. So very similar to the RSS component I posted yesterday, but this one has much more information within the JSON file. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.